I always wanted to do a, a big action film and uh, I was so excited. I took the project to Karan at Dharma Productions. They are a studio um, and uh, I was just excited to be empowered and have the faith that we both ventured onto this uh, relentless train and he saw the uh, vision that we had uh, to be able to tell um, India's most violent film or uh, be able to, you know, um, make an action film of the scale um, that we signed up for. It was imperative that this film, um, you know, the action was choreographed uh, with a lot of uh, intensity, with a lot of passion, also because it was being driven from a love story. Like, you know, he, the, the motivation of the action comes from love. I don't think India has ever seen a film like this. The syntax is very mainstream. I would definitely say front-footedly it's a commercial film. But a commercial film like this has never been made in India. We have made, like you said, all genres. We've made, of course, action films. But our action films have been spy thrillers, massive action, you know, like crazy good, like like uh, Mission Impossible. We have also have spectacle films, which renowned filmmakers like Raja Mali have made, a film called Bahubali that broke all records globally. We've had massive Indian films. This is a genre film. We've never made a genre film that is that is restricted to a train with so much action and violence and gore. Like Guneet said, it is probably the most violent film ever made in India. Uh, we're not new to violence, but we are new to this level of violence. So we almost feel like we have to give a disclaimer to an audience, like watch it on an empty stomach, watch it at, on your own, at your own risk. We believe like diversity is so critical to content. Uh, you know, Indian cinema tends to get slotted as a, as a song and dance filmmaking nation. Mm -hmm. uh, that every love story is, a, is, a, is an Indian film. Like every film, Indian film is a love story and everything is, you know, has social issues, drama, parental conflict, like you said. You know, but there's so much more that happens in Indian cinema uh, that the world needs to get aware of. Already with what has been happening the last couple of years um, and with like Gunit's victory at the Academy Awards this year, uh, already the world is opening up and streaming is already making sure that the world is opened up. Uh, so I think now it's all about just everyone acknowledging each other's n new content and brilliance and taking cinema forward. You know, and I think that's the main thing is like just the way we appreciate films made out of Korea or, or made out of like Germany or Japan or anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. We just hope that India is also on the map. And I know it's getting there. The narrative is all about owning Indian cinema. The thing is that the crossover that needed to happen was the North and the South actually coming together. And when that happened, that was actually beautiful because we can proudly say that Indian cinema now is ruling you know, the roost. Because when Raja Mauli's RRR does incredible business in the north, when Bahubali breaks records all across India, you know, you realize that actually there is not a divide. It's actually we're all part of the same country, all kind of putting our country and our movies on the global map. And we should really be proud of it. Instead of saying north and south and creating these disparities and differences, actually, we're all one. We're all one under the umbrella of the same country. And all of us actually create content so we can make Indian cinema a force to reckon with. Cinema unites us as a country yeah. uh, because this is a year where you've seen an Elephant Whispers and an RRR. The spectrum of a short documentary uh, in uh, Tamil made by uh, uh, a Hindi language producer um, and then there is RRR Telugu, there is Kill at TIFF this year. This is like Indian cinema representation and we are literally everything everywhere all at once you know so uh, we uh, we we definitely uh, are uniting as a country uh, with our language of cinema across uh, all languages